Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be opening up the TTO win streak rewards from yesterday here in NBA 2K25. My team, I got these win streak rewards done really late at night, um, like 1 a.m. ish. So, was not able to um, get that video out yesterday because I was gone all day i was at my parents all day yesterday until really late at night um and so therefore wasn't able to get this win streak done until really late as well so thought i would upload this video this morning instead i know it's a little late but it better late than never i would say so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and without further ado let's hop right into it also we'll say if you hear any yard work in the background that's just just my name my apartment is getting yard work done there's nothing i can really do about that so i apologize if it's a little annoying but uh, i don't think it's too loud so we do have a bunch of separate packs to open and stuff we got dunktober event packs we're just grinding out the, the those games last night uh we got this base pack we got a gyms of the game pack from completing some agendas i guess i'm not totally sure and then the dunktober deluxe pack the 84 plus overall premium pack and the gyms of the game amethyst option pack as well to open in this video so a very solid variety of things to open up um nothing too crazy but this is basically all the stuff i got just from last night's ga grinding of those few challenges so, like i start off with a mavs uniform that's worth something nurkic is a card that i didn't already have that's unsellable so i'll lock him in towards collector level and um then we get a gold gems of the game card as well does chris king do anything for me absolutely not but again we can lock it in towards our collector level if nothing else which we are getting pretty close to 300 cards um let's see if there's anything new by the way in challenge or anything like that that i have missed uh today it does by the way sound as though we are also getting a um update to triple threat park so i did not make a video on that yesterday but if that is the case that is something that i will make a video on um here later today i do believe we'll be getting a nice a relatively significant update to rewards from what i'm hearing so or for what they tweeted yesterday so i will be uh, making that video and locking or, or sorry breaking that down here in just a little bit later today but um i'm almost at 300 cards so i need you, you need a thousand for the gems for the uh, legend badge so i don't think i'm going to be getting that legend badge anytime soon really but we are slowly making progress in our card collector lock-ins as we get a gold item out of a dunk to a pack and that is a gold paint prodigy so that's two badges already because i got a gold a bronze strong hand, strong handle as well from the first base pack that i opened all this stuff that has value can make extra mt you know what I mean? Badges will sell. Badges are things I can hold in my collection as well if it's certain badges that I actually would use. But a badge like Gold Paint Prodigy, that's 500, 700 MT probably that I can sell. And then I get a Bronze Rebound Chaser, and that's a badge that I'm actually going to use at some point probably. So I, that can sit in my collection and be a nice little value. And that's something that I uh, talked about yesterday in the video that I did where I opened up a bunch of these Dunktober event packs. All this stuff, while this event is now over by the time y'all watch this video, all this stuff is just added extra MT. Uh, and it's nice to see even small things like this that just add an additional value to grinding the game and playing my team and that's something that i think is definitely pretty encouraging that they've been doing over the last couple weeks and it's something that we've needed a lot more of to be completely honest because i feel like in the last couple weeks um or the first couple weeks of the game we got basically nothing of any real value so getting stuff that has actual value and gives people an incentive to play the game is a improvement in my opinion uh, we got a dunktober deluxe pack as well this was the one game win streak award yesterday which isn't even a win streak just winning one game in triple threat uh, park uh and obviously these win streaks apply to park to co-op or um or the regular mode either one and so we get a unsellable emerald here who is d brown who i literally already have unsellable okay well that does nothing for me that's 475 mt but i guess at the end of the day we will take it we got 84 plus overall premium pack these premium packs i believe guarantee you a either gems of the game card or previous promo sapphire plus i guess it could be a ruby as well it could be an amethyst will it be probably not it is a sapphire i was correct uh so this will either be a pr previous promo card or a gems of the game card um and it is going to be gems of the game kevin gamble he is the perfect man for nba 2k24 my team with the last name gamble um he fits nba 2k24 perfectly 2k25 is a little bit better so far and i will say 
the game started off rough this year. It 100% did. But they're actually doing a solid job of bringing it around, I think. Like, on a daily basis, it seems like... Or not a daily basis, but on a weekly basis, it seems like the content is getting better and better and more rewarding. And they've actually done a good job. Like, we're getting free diamond hidden gems now. We're getting things that are actually more worth grinding um, in terms of weekly win streaks and Triple Threat Park. Apparently, there's another big Triple Threat Park update that apparently literally is happening today. So, I haven't looked into that yet, but I'm checking right now. And then we get this Gems of the Game Auction Pack. Like, this is going to help a lot of people's teams. Even if it doesn't help my team specifically, which I'm looking here, and I'll either take Harrison Barnes or Eddie Jones, probably. Uh, I need to look at their stats and battles and see who I would prefer to take. But, I mean, I got a couple guys that aren't going to help my main squad, right? But these are good salary cap cards, especially if their salary cap gets lower. And a lot of people will be benefited by these cards uh, because if you're an only spent player there's a very good chance that you're going to get a good amethyst that can help your team because a lot of these amethysts are very solid so like eddie jones good shooter good slasher 90 ball handle solid defender 88 steel 85 perimeter 69 interior 86 speed 86 agility 92 vert 85 speed of ball um off interceptor and set shot specialist gold slippery hand is for days off ball pass glove pogo stick ankle assassin um silver dead eye bailout pick dodger strong handle high flying denier bronze challenger on ball menace that's a pretty good looking card harrison barnes does not have very many badges but i know his jumper is really really good uh Hmm. I don't know. I'm actually not sure who I want to take here. 88 three ball, 90, 95 driving dunk. The stats on this card offensively are awesome. Um, defensively, not incredible. 88 speed, 87 agility, 95 vert, 70 strength, though, is good as well. I, I, I honestly kind of want to take both of these guys. I like Harrison Barnes release better than I like Eddie Jones release, I think. And he's a former Mav. Honestly... Eddie is probably the better choice, but I'm still going to take Harrison Barnes. I think with his release, he is an awesomely fun card, even with some missing badges and stuff. And again, like I said, in salary cap, a guy like Harrison Barnes, who is only 1.2K, like some of these gems of the games, if stuff like that, that's an incredible starting salary, salary cap small forward right there off rip. And it saves me so much salary as well. Allows me to upgrade the rest of my team in a variety of ways and uh, fill out the squad uh, a lot more effectively and a lot better, which I think is, again, some of the beauty of this type of thing. I mean, even if it doesn't help your main squad, it'll give you a card for salary cap, a card that's going to be useful in the future for different challenges and things. And a lot of people, again, will be helped by these cards in their main teams. Like, it's not just a thing that is benefiting their lineup overall but it is something that actually is going to benefit their lineup like in game specifically so i feel like i honestly am totally fine with that reward like it's not the best reward i've ever gotten in my life but i'm totally cool with it and um again it sounds as though the modes are continuing to get more and more rewarding so with that being said um i am excited to see what's going on here as where are these wins where would these rewards be listed in triple threat park you know what we're gonna have to find that stuff later and make another video on that to talk about what 2k tweeted about yesterday but uh 2k is actually turning the park into a place that's worth going to and they're turning the game into a game that's a little bit more worth grinding so this is progress and i am happy about it good job 2k that is gonna do it for this video i hope you all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace